And what is up guys? Welcome back to Excel with Yourself for another video. Hopefully you're all having an awesome Friday so far. Today we have another sales video for you guys. And I believe tentatively, I'm not 100% sure as of the time I'm recording this, but I think this sales video will get us fully up to speed on all the sales through the rest of November and December. So I think we will be uh, fully up to speed by the end of this sales video. So for those of you guys that really enjoy these sales videos, sit back and enjoy for those of you who don't click away and go watch something more entertaining like a Mr. Beast video because uh, that's what I've been doing recently. I've been binge watching a ton of Mr. Beast. Oh, and one more tip for a lot of you guys that do watch these videos but want to sort of get through them a little bit quicker. I can't remember who it was. It might've been Vader Delta down in the comments that said, uh, if you watch these sales videos at like 1.5 speed or 1.75 speed, it goes by a lot quicker because it just, you don't miss any of the content, but it just speeds it up a little bit so that you can get through the video a little bit quicker and see all the items without having to watch for 30 minutes, you know. But uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and jump right into the sales video. All right, next up, we sold four more Seller's Risk cards, which were Jawjammer, Iridium, my last copy of Chicane for the moment, and my last copy of Spectite. These rare vehicle cards just absolutely disappearing. You guys are going nuts over these Seller's Risk cards right now. Not really sure when the hype is going to die down around them for a while. I really wasn't selling cards all that well, but the last two or three months have been absolutely insane. Just tons of interest in the accelerators trading cards but the total on this order was $54 even to a return buyer so thanks for that all right next up we sold 19 more accelerators cards still selling pretty quickly we sold a copy of the ice realm teleport anti-gravitation total traction vector octanium hyper battle spec hyper battle spec hollowback hollowback hyper baseline vector metalloid another hyper battle spec the junk realm the swamp realm two copies of Drift Tech, Hyper Spectite, my last copy of Synchro, and copy of High Voltage. I only have one copy of High Voltage left in stock again. This is just a really, really popular vehicle card. All those Teku cards are pretty popular, honestly. Total on this order was $94, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 Excelium. This was the last Excelium that I had in stock. Total on this order was $22 even to a returned buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we sold seven near mint to mint accelerators trading cards to a new buyer, which were Mechanoid Destroyer, Behemoth Mosquitoes, RD10 version two, Vector Nitrium, Folding Corners, Mega Charger, and Visor Mask. Total on this order was $15 even. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold another one of the big boys. This was the factory sealed Flathead Fury that we got forever ago in one of those big lots. Accelerators cars. I think I got it back in like July or August, honestly. And uh, this one did have a bunch of wear on it. Let's see if I can get it in the light. It's got a crease down here in this corner, and then all the way down the left side of the blister, it actually has a crease. You can see it in the light. So uh, definitely not a mint blister, but uh, still pretty cool. It actually looks like the plastic part of the hook actually is a little bit off center as well. I didn't even notice that. But still factory sealed, Fly of Fury, very tough to find. Total on this order was $190, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And then we sold a Loose Mint CM6 RDO6 to another new buyer. Total on this order was $15, even when you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold a Gen 2 Realm Series Jackhammer car. Definitely one of the most ironic cars in the set for sure. Total on this order was $55, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we had a massive order of accelerations cards. It was 71 total cards, including two foils. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Dragon Torch, two copies of All or Nothing, two copies of Scorpion Ambush, two copies of Escher's World, definitely one of the coolest card arts in the game. Then we had a copy of Kamikaze Semis, Hydro Glide, two copies of Mega Base Box, two copies of Maze Minotaur, two copies of Hack Mimic, Reaction Time, Two Blown Hydrants, Turn and Burn, my last copy of Acceleron Virus, two copies of Wrecking Balls, Diffusion Glass, two copies of Recover Control, two copies of Behemoth Mosquitoes, Stone Sphinx, Black Ice, two copies of Guts, two copies of Forest Inferno, then we have Lightning Rod, Frictionless, two copies of Endure, and then continuing on with the same order, it was Traction Control, Two copies of Hyper Nightlife, Jackhammer, Hyper Baseline, Hollowback, Jawjammer, Spinebuster, The Blizzard Realm, The Labyrinth Realm, Nightlife, Rolling Thunder, Drifting, Power Rage, The Cliffside Realm, Sand Speed, Folding Corners, Impervious Tires, Spoiler, Battle Spec, Ratified, Riveted, 
Teleport, Wall Crawl, two copies of Hyper Drift Tech, Draft, 2D, two copies of Hyper Baseline, Torque Riveted, then a Foil Strato Thruster card, a Foil Feather Frame card, and my last copy of Flathead Fury for the moment. So, pretty massive order of cards. The total on this order was $280 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two loose man cars, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder and a CM6 Ratified Great Looking Metal Maniac cars. The total on this order was $23 even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, we've got a handful of sales to go through from last night. First things first, we got a lot of 38 Accelerators cards, including one foil. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Sand Speed, Anti Gravitation. Undistort, Total Traction, two copies of Asphalt Anchor, Traction Control, Pulse Emitter, Mega Charger, Spy Eye, Frictionless, Impervious Tires. I think I only have one or two more copies of Impervious Tires. Engine Elixir, Hyper Beams, Hyper Beams, two copies of Balance Box, Hardened Underbelly, Sweepers, two copies of Mega Base Box, Camo Skin, two copies of Four Wheel Steering, Spoiler, I think that was my last copy of Spoiler for the moment. Grappler Claw, Air Refresher, Diffusion Glass, two copies of Slam Ram Hyperpod, Racing Slicks, Poly Alloy Wheels, Dual Driller Hyperpod, Tweak Box, Spike Tires, Sound Buffer, Aero Package, and my last copy of Feather Frame for the moment. At one point I had like 12 of these, and this was the last one out of stock now on Feather Frame. Definitely. I know it's not the most rare card in the world, but uh, definitely got a pretty sick card art on it, honestly. So the total on this order was $104, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold three more loose mint cards, which were a CM5 Rolling Thunder, a CM6 Baseline, and my last CM5 Hollowback for the moment. Total on this order was $44, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold three more loose cars. These were three that did not roll. They all had a wheel or two that just did not turn for whatever reason. Or if they did roll, they roll like, you know, two or three inches and then stop rolling for whatever reason. But the total on this order was $20, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold four loose used Highway 35 cars. These actually weren't in all that bad of shape but uh, I still classify them as lightly played, and I think the, the Switchback was in heavily played condition. But it was Switchback, the Scorchers, Thunderbird, Pontiac Rages, and I think this was the Ford F-150, if I remember correctly. I always get confused between the F-150 and Mega Duty. But the total on this order was $17, even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up we sold a huge bunch of hazards. It was a total of 45 near mint hazard cards. There was 12 duplicates, I believe. So it was 32 unique cards, 45 hazards in total. We're not gonna flip through them just because it does get kind of repetitive, but this is almost a complete set of hazards minus the foil cards. So total on this order was $95, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of 17 near mint to mint accelerators cards. We'll flip through these real quick. It was torqued riveted, hyper baseline, hyper battle spec, riveted, iridium, anthracite, Magnesium, Torque Jaw Jammer, Vectra Nitrium, Power Bomb, Metalloid, Vectra Octanium, Rolling Thunder, Carbide, Spine Buster, Hollowback, and Jaw Jammer. The total on this order was $46 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a loose, lightly worn CM5 Spine Buster. And uh, one issue that I've noticed with a lot of these spine busters that I have in stock currently is they all have this like weird, almost greasy look to the black paint. I don't know what exactly causes that. This one definitely has some light scratching on it. But overall, the decals are in pretty good shape. They do tend to smudge a little bit around the back wheel well. But uh, overall, you know, if you look at it from a good distance, it looks pretty much mint, but uh, definitely has small issues on it. But the total on this order was $19, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold three more loose Acceleracers cars that do not roll. They all had one or two wheels that just did not want to spin with the others. So it was Excellium, CM5 Powerbomb, and a CM5 Rolling Thunder. Total on this order was $15, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold a lot of three loose mint Acceleracers cars, which were a CM6 Rolling Thunder, a CM6 Powerbomb, and a CM5 Powerbomb. So we got both Powerbomb variations moving here. Which one is you guys' favorite, the CM5 or the CM6? Let me know down in the comments. Total on this order was $39, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Then we sold a lot of four loose mint Accelerators cars, which were another CM5 Powerbomb, a CM6 Drift Tech, 
a CM6 Blackwing Synchro, and a CM6 Baseline. Great looking array of Taipu vehicles plus a power bomb that doesn't really fit in there. But the total on this order is $58 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two more loose mech cars, which were a CM6 Baseline and a CM6 Blackwing Synchro. More Taipu love here. Total on this order was $37 even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, the last car order of the day, we sold a loose, very heavily worn Wild Thing. This one does not roll. Um, honestly, the whole wheel scenario on Wild Thing is kind of unrealistic as it is. Um, I can't, I mean, it does roll if you push it hard enough, but uh, definitely doesn't roll smoothly, nor do I think it would ever roll smoothly with those wheels. But as you can see, it's got a ton of wear on the decal. It's really, really beat up. But anyways, total on this order was $22 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two loose mint accelerators cars, which were a CM5 ratified and a CM6 orange wing drift tech. Total on this order was $23 even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold three damaged Highway 35 cars, which were the Toyota RSC backdraft and a crazy eight that is missing the spoiler. These all had a ton of wear on them. So I sold them for pretty cheap. Total on this order was $11, even to another return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two lots of 22 heavily played, lightly played cards. The first lot featured a carbide and the second lot featured a synchro. Total on this order was $48, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. So 44 total cards for $48. Not too bad of a deal, even in played condition, considering there are some rare cards in there. Should be listing a bunch more of these lots on my page over the next couple weeks. So definitely keep your eyes peeled if you are looking for played condition cards to play the game with. Next up, we sold a lot of seven loose, lightly worn accelerators cards. These all had their fair amount of scuffing and scratching, so on and so forth. So we've got an Anthracite, a CM5 Spine Buster, a CM6 Baseline, CM6 Nitrium, CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, Black Wing Synchro, and an RDO6, a nice little variety lot here. Perfect for people that are getting back into collecting. You don't really want to pay the premium for uh, loose mint cars. Because, uh, I mean, after all, look at them. The decals are still pretty much perfect on these. Just scuffs and scratches here and there. So the total on this order was $55, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up. Hold on, let me fix my light here. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. There we go. Next up, we sold two more loose mint cars, which were my last CM5 Hollowback and the CM6 Orange Wing Synchro. These orange wing sinkers, almost as soon as I get them in, they literally disappear. Just can't keep them in stock. The second people see them in my listing, they just buy them up immediately. But the total on this order was $55, even to a new buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold six near mint accelerators cards, which were all Metal Maniac vehicles. It was Jackhammer, Rolling Thunder, Hollowback, Jawjammer, Ratified, and Riveted. The total on this order was $10, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold three big foil realm cards. First up, the foil desert realm, which is arguably the hardest regular foil card to find up there with a uh, hyper reverb, most likely. The same buyer also purchased the foil lava realm card and the foil reactor realm card. So three foil realm cards. Let's get them all organized here. Definitely super sweet trading cards. I absolutely love the design on all of these for sure. So all three of these realm cards are gone for an even total of $100. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then next up, right on cue, we sold six more Accelerators foil cards, which were a foil battering bubble. Definitely one of the coolest looking cards in the card game. Just love the design on that. I've never been able to tell, is that supposed to be a Spectite on that card? Looks a little funny. So we got battering bubble, then foil shell skin card, foil feather frame, foil armored plow, Foil Chrome Globes, definitely another one of the cooler looking cards. And a Foil Acid Bath card. So six more Accelerators Foil cards moving. Let me get them all lined up here nice and neat. Total on this order was $155, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And uh, if we put our Realm cards over here, there is nine of the 25 Foil cards right here, front and center. Definitely a, a gorgeous looking array of cards. They knocked them out of the park as far as the design for the Foil cards. Definitely a, uh, a sweet little lot of cards for sure. And next up, we sold a huge lot of Highway 35 cards. It was eight total carded cards. We'll go through them real quick. It was a Switchback, a Pontiac Rages that did have a price sticker on it, unfortunately. Then we've got a Zotic, a Backdraft. I'm trying to space these out here for you. Then we've got a Dior 2, probably the most expensive car in this bunch. At least lately, it's getting pretty expensive. And I'm sure it's only going to go up now that it's in Hot Wheels Unleashed 2. Then we have a Motocross. That's, this one was probably in the worst condition out of all of them. 
Then we've got a Toyota RSC from the Dune Rats team and a Firebird IROC from the Street Breed team. So eight carded Highway 35 cars. What is that like? A, a fifth of the collection, basically? A little bit more than a fifth? Total on this order was $200 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of four very rare Teku vehicle cards. Well, the first one wasn't super rare. It was a copy of Baseline. This was the only Baseline I had in stock for the moment. Then we sold my last copy of Foil Hyper Chicane. What a sweet, sweet looking card. I love the, uh, is that lightning in the background? That is super sick. Then we sold my only copy of Chicane. So a Hyper Chicane and a regular Chicane card. Very cool. And a copy of High Voltage. Total on this order was $95 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. All right, we had a bunch of sales to go through from over the weekend. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we sold a Gen 2 Stripped Metal RDO 2. That came from the uh, the trade that we made with one of the members in the community. Total on this order was $80 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely a super sick car. And next up, we sold two more Gen 2 cars, which were a Gen 2 Realm Series Jackhammer. I still have a couple of these left, so no rush if you are still missing one. And then we sold the Droned Series Baseline that we also got from the trade. Sold almost immediately when I listed it. Total on the order for these two cars was $135, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Definitely some super sweet cars. And next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 Battle Spec. It just had a slightly crooked spoiler, which is a... Uh, Pretty common for battle specs. Something about the way they were in the packaging. For some reason, the spoilers always come out bent in the exact same way. But um, definitely a super sweet car. Total on this order was $29, even to another return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 Baseline. Definitely running along baselines once again, so get them while you can if you are still missing one. Total on this order was $21, even when you include shipping. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two Loose Mint cars, which were a CM6 Blackwing Synchro and a CM6 Baseline. Total on this order was $37, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 Power Rage. Absolutely love Power Rages. Every time I get a Loose Power Rage, I just have to admire it for a little bit. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful car. This was one that really did look almost identical to the one in the movie. Just cannot get enough of power each. Total on this order was $39, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold two more loose, heavily played cars. This was a CM6 Spinebuster and a CM6 RDO1. Definitely some rarer cars here as far as like RDO1 goes, or uncommon, I should say. But uh, both of these had a lot of wear on it. As you can see, the spoiler on the Spinebuster has all sorts of like chalky dust on it. Just had some wear. Other than that, they looked all right, though. I mean, as far as decals go. But uh, the total on this order was $20, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of 18 Nermit's Mint Accelerators cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was Air Refresher, Mutant Vulture, Mega Charger, Rock Slide, Engine Elixir, Wheel Shield, my second to last copy of Kamikaze Semi, Spy Eye, Ice Shrapnel, Four Wheel Steering, Bat Swarm, Balance Box, Hardened Underbelly, Ice Yeti, Molten River, Carnivorous Plants, Behemoth Mosquitoes, and Carpoon Hyperpod. That was my last copy of Carpoon Hyperpod for now. Total on this order was $40 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And that is going to wrap it up for this sales video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing all the items moving in and out of my eBay Accelerator store. Historically, over the last two years, December has been one of the slower months for me, just because a lot of people, you know, buying Christmas presents, so on and so forth. So I don't expect there to be a ton of sales in December, but then January historically is one of my better months, you know, because a lot of people get their Christmas money, so on and so forth. My theory on this is that most parents don't really, uh, you'd be amazed how many people don't 100% trust eBay. It's like a selling platform. There's a lot of people that don't know there's buyer protection and stuff. They kind of lump it in with like Craigslist and they're totally, totally different but uh i think a lot of parents don't feel 100 percent comfortable buying stuff on ebay for their kids like accelerators items but uh so they give their kids money and stuff for christmas kids go on ebay and then buy accelerators products highway 35 products so uh that's why i think historically december is a little slower and then january is booming because of all the christmas money but that's just my two cents so anyways guys that's gonna wrap it up for this video we got a custom video coming on monday be sure to stay tuned for that you guys are gonna absolutely love it and uh, yeah, so go ahead and smash the like button for me if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.